everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot cards one card at a time. Today's card is number six in the Major Arcana, The Lovers. I am using the Rider Waite Tarot deck and you'll find the link below the video. I've also linked to the many books I've used for my research. In this video, we'll discuss what the Lovers card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the card, the meaning of the lovers when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life. And at the end, I'll provide you with some questions to help you better connect with the lovers. So let's get started. In this card, you see a male and female with a large angel between them. The angel has his arms outstretched and giant red wings. Behind the angel is the sun and below the angel is a cloud. The sky is blue. Behind the lovers, you see a red mountain and ground beneath their feet. Behind the woman is an apple tree with a snake wrapped around the trunk. Behind the male is a tree with 12 flames. The lover's card is about important choices that will impact your entire life, such as your choice of a partner. It is about more than sexual love. The Greeks actually had three words for love that represented romantic love, love between friends, and divine love, and all are included in this card. It can also represent business partnerships and other relationships. This card is also about opposites coming together and working in unison. The angel has his arms outstretched and giant red wings. This is Archangel Raphael. He is the angel who helps with healing, protection, and journeys. The Hebrew meaning for Raphael is God has healed. The angel's wings are red, which is the color of power and transformation. Raphael's spread wings offer protection to the couple. For further protection, his outstretched arms are offering a blessing. The prominence of the angel also shows their link to God and how the angel moves the couple to a new spiritual level. Around Raphael's head, we see red and green flames. Flames symbolize sexual passion, which would be expected between lovers. Red also represents conscious thoughts and green represents subconscious thoughts. The two flames are working together, which represents this card's ability to unify two people. Behind the angel is the sun. The sun is very prominent in this card and represents a midday sun. It represents the wonderful feeling of a new relationship where the whole world seems brighter. Below the angel is a cloud. The cloud and the angel represent a barrier between the sun and the lovers. Rather than standing in sunlight, the lovers are standing in the shadows. Clouds also indicate that the couple may have cloudy or difficult times in their relationship. The couple is naked. Nakedness can represent openness and honesty. On the negative side, nakedness can also represent lack of shame and lust. Nakedness can further represent temptation. This doesn't have to be related to sex, but includes things like sex that make us forget what is not going well in our lives. This might be types of addictions such as alcohol, drugs, overeating, overspending, or gaming. Note that the couple are standing at the same level. Neither male nor female are dominant. The man represents the rational mind and conscious awareness and he's balanced by the female who represents emotion and unconscious awareness. The sky is blue. This color represents working through subconscious processes. Behind the lovers, you see a red mountain that is a volcano ready to erupt. This can represent sexual climax. It can also represent their happiness and being on top of the world. Mountains further represent obstacles and it tells us that there might be many obstacles to overcome between the couple. I'm sure none of us who are part of a couple can relate to that. This is very much the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Behind the woman is an apple tree with a snake wrapped around the trunk. This is the tree of knowledge. It represents temptation and sensual pleasures, specifically how sexual pleasure can take the focus away from spirit. Snakes can also represent wisdom. Snakes also shed their skin, which can represent the need to change. Behind the male is a tree with 12 flames representing the tree of life. 
This represents the purity of love before it becomes sexual. These represent the 12 zodiac signs which symbolize time and eternity. Note that the lovers are standing quite far apart. The female is looking at the angel while the male is looking at the female. This demonstrates that they are not yet lovers. The angel is unifying the two people and also blessing them. So spoiler alert, we see the lovers again in the devil card, which is card number 15, where they don't look nearly as happy and are paying for their temptation. Notice that although the cards are different, the structure is very similar with a large prominent figure between them and the lovers at the bottom of the card. When the lovers appear upright in a reading, this is an overwhelmingly positive card that represents love, harmony, growth, healing, and joy. So if you're looking for a partner, this is a positive card that you will find somebody. It can represent commitment, marriage, and decisions you make that will have long-term consequences. So these decisions include things like moving, changing jobs, marriage, having children, or maybe some health-related decisions. It can also represent a sexual partnership, so all about desire, physical attraction, and passion. And it represents a choice in life. It doesn't have to be between a partner. I think a good example of the lover's card is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They are in love, but they also made a lot of choices with long-term consequences. These include not being addressed as his or her royal highness, giving up Harry's military titles, and also surrendering their armed security protection. They were also asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage. The lease to this cottage was a wedding gift, and it was their official UK residence. The lover's card reminds us that love often requires tough decisions and sacrifices. A reversed lover's card can indicate a problem in the relationship. It may be a crisis due to betrayal or regret, or that the feelings in the relationship are not mutual. As you can see looking at the lovers, he is staring at her with adoration, but she is not looking at him. The lover's card can represent difficulty making choices or a difficult choice that you need to make. As I'm making this video, I have a family member who is going into long-term care due to dementia and it has ripped apart his caregiver. That is an example of a decision that has been a difficult one. So here's an example from my life that talks about a problem with a non-lover's relationship. So I tore the rotator cuff in my shoulder about 18 months ago, and I didn't want to have surgery, so I chose to go the physical therapy route. And I live in the middle of nowhere, and I went to a physical therapy facility that is local, which is highly unusual. And I went three times a week for a year. I only saw the physical therapist a few times and was offloaded to the assistants for the rest of the visits. And they didn't really have the skill or the desire or the training to deal with my problem. So after a year, I demanded an MRI and I switched physicians. And he correctly diagnosed that I had additional problems and suggested that I change to a physical therapy facility that was much farther away. And I don't know why this was such a difficult choice to sever this relationship, because I didn't have much of a relationship, but it was very problematic and it was really hard to make that decision to move on. So how can you connect with the lovers? Well, here are some questions to think about. Number one, what important choices are you facing now? And what is blocking you from making a different choice? Number two, are you ready to fall in love? If not, what can you do to prepare yourself? Number three, if you are in a relationship, what can you do to improve it? Or is it time to let it go and move on? Number four, what is currently tempting you? How can you remove this temptation from your life? And finally, number five, is there something you'd like to experience in life but are avoiding because you are afraid of the consequences? So I'd love for you to post your answers to these questions in the comments. And please join me for the next video.